So let's start. There are three questions on syllogisms, in fact, reverse syllogism. The first one is on your screens now. Here we go. The question on syllog. See what it says. In each group of questions below are two conclusions followed by five set of statements. You have to choose the correct set of statements that logically satisfies given conclusions. Given statements are to be taken as true even if they seem to be at variance from commonly known facts. So this is the typical reverse syllogism, right? Which was introduced last year in bank exam. Same concept, syllogisms, the whatever basics you have learned are applicable here. It's just that in uh, these questions, conclusions are given to us like here and we have to find out which set of statements would be applicable for the given conclusions. So reverse, usually statements are given, one set of statements is given and five sets of conclusions are given. We have to find out which of the conclusions follow. But here it's one set of conclusions with five set of statements. Now look at the conclusions. What do we do? The same thing. You have to draw basic diagrams and verify. Basically, what you can do is you can draw basic diagram for each of these set of statements and find out which set will satisfy all the given conclusions. But that's too time consuming, right? I mean, if you have to draw basic diagram for one, two, three, four, five sets of statements, it will take a lot of time. So what we will do is first try to eliminate the wrong set of statements if there is, if it is possible. It may not be possible always, but let's, let's try and do that, right? How do we do that? Based on the conclusions. Now look at the conclusions. No newspaper is a bull. See, try to draw a basic diagram for the conclusions. It will give you some clarity. No newspaper is a bull. Newspaper and bull. They do not touch each other. No newspaper is a bull. Some pens are bulls. Some pens are bulls. So these pens are bulls. Right? Some newspapers are not bulls. Now, no newspaper is a bull and some newspaper are not bulls. It's, it's already covered here. See, the moment we know no newspaper is a bull, the moment we say no newspaper is a bull, some newspapers are not bulls is subset of this. I can still say some newspapers are not bulls. Yes or no? So don't really have to worry about that. Right? Some newspapers are not bulls. Some newspapers are not bulls. Next. All bulls being pen is a possibility. All, all, sorry, all bugs, all bugs, all bugs being pen is a possibility. All bugs being pen is a possibility. So yeah, so basically it says, all bugs can be pens. So there has to be a smaller circle inside, which is bugs. I think I'll have to draw bigger circles there to help you understand this. Okay. Let me draw pens first. This is pens. All bugs being pens is a possibility. It says all bugs can be pens. So these are the, this is the basic diagram. Right. New newspaper is a bull. Some pens are bulls. No newspaper, some newspapers are not bulls and all bugs being pens are possibility. Now, as such, the basic diagram also is not required, but for the sake of clear understanding, I'm just drawing it here. Now, what we will do is instead of drawing diagrams for the statements, let us first eliminate the wrong uh, set of statements. How do we eliminate the wrong set of statements? See, we have learned about complement repairs, right? We have learned about complement repairs. It's a very, very important concept. That, that concept of complement repair will come useful in reverse syllogism. For you to be able to answer questions of reverse syllogisms quickly, you can use the techniques of complement repairs. How do we do that? For example, you look at this statement. It says, some pens are bulls. Let me highlight that. Let me use a highlighter. Yeah? He says, some pens are bulls. What is the complementary for some pens are bulls? No pen is a bull. For some pens are bulls, the complementary statement is what? No pens are bulls. Meaning if this is definitely true, conclusion is what? This is definitely true. What is definitely true? Some pens are bulls is true. So what will not be true? No pens is a bull or no bull is a pen will be false. Yes or no? Now identify statements where there are such type of uh, complementary parts given. Like for example, here you see no bull is a pen. Here you see no bull is a pen. Others are saying some bulls are pen, some bulls are pen, some bulls are pen. But then these two, set 2 and set 4 directly get eliminated. You understand? I can say this is wrong and this also is wrong. Why am I saying this? Because the conclusion is some pens are bulls. Some pens have to be bulls. Here the statement says no bull is a pen. How can it be true? So I, this is complementary, right? For some pens are bulls, the complementary part is no pen is a bull or no bull is a pen. So that's how we can eliminate options. Right? Similarly, try to eliminate if there is any other option possible, which can be eliminated. Like for example, no newspaper is a bull. So when no newspaper is a bull, what is complementary? All newspapers are bulls or all bulls are newspapers. 
all newspapers are bull or all bulls are newspapers anyway don't forget uh, forget about second and fourth now it's already done don't even look at that waste your time don't waste your time it's anyway wrong check the remaining ones all newspapers are bull or all bulls are newspapers is it given somewhere yeah i think statement five all newspaper are bugs and all bugs are bull meaning all newspapers are bull again another complimentary let me use a different color to highlight it this time it is no newspaper is a bull is a statement the complimentary for no newspaper is a bull is all newspapers are bull which is given here actually what is given is all newspapers are bugs but if all newspapers are bugs and all bugs are bulls all newspapers become bulls recall our technique one technique which i have explained you in earlier videos is if all bugs are bulls wherever we have bugs we can replace with bulls all bugs are bulls mean what wherever we have bugs we can replace with bulls so these bugs can be replaced with bulls actually so fifth statement here becomes all newspapers are bulls all newspapers are bulls and no newspaper are bulls is complementary so for this conclusion to be true this statement has to be false i mean this is incorrect you able to follow so five also get eliminated so what is the advantage of going by complementary pairs when i know that some pens are bulls no pen is a bull or no bull is a pen has to be wrong so wherever we have no bull is a pen we have eliminated similarly when i know no newspaper is a bull wherever we have all newspapers are bull is wrong so all newspaper are bull is wrong so two four and five got eliminated now only two statements are left out first one and third one draw the basic diagram for those or if you can even if if you can eliminate even these ones smartly then nothing like it so just see if you can eliminate something smartly uh first one no newspaper is a bug does it go wrong somewhere no newspaper is a bug no bug is a bull no bug is a bull no newspaper is a bug draw the basic diagram let me draw the basic diagram for the first one now. first set of statements okay no newspaper is a bug so newspaper and bug will not touch each other no bug is a bull no bug is a bull so bugs and bull also will not touch each other double cross double cross some bulls are pen some bulls are pen yeah so this is the basic diagram this is the basic diagram for which set first set okay now check the conclusions in this basic diagram do all these conclusions satisfy no newspaper is a bull see no newspaper is a bull satisfies the basic diagram but will it always satisfy no i can draw bigger newspaper like this right n dash and 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 i'll still be correct with all the statements no newspaper is a bug yes no newspaper is a bug no bug is a bull no bug is a bull some bulls are pen so what happens first one also becomes wrong why is first one wrong have you all followed for these statements statements one no newspaper is a bug no bug is a bull some bulls are pen the basic diagram has been drawn when i look at the first conclusion the first conclusion says no newspaper is a bull now no newspaper is a bull satisfies the basic diagram but if i draw n dash which is a possible diagram it fails because the conclusion says no newspaper is a bull here i find that some newspapers are bulls you see this shaded region no newspapers are some newspapers are bulls what does it indicate some newspapers are bull so if some newspapers are bull how can you say no newspaper is a bull so first one also is wrong so if first second fourth and fifth are wrong obviously third one has to be correct and i will not waste my time in trying out the third one because definitely 1 2 4 and 5 are wrong so answer should be what he is he asks us to find out what uh ha huh, which one satisfy right third one third one statements 3 only statements 3 option 3 is the answer i hope all of you have understood this